Christian Bates with Longevity Power, longevitypower.com. And I'm about to make the herbal ecstasy elixir here in our garden. This is our sunflower patch, as well as our tomato patch. But today we're eating some tonic herbs in a perfect for the summer, because it's warming up around here in June 2013, elixir. Now we're starting with three cups of spring water, or the purest water you can possibly get, and two cups of spring water ice cubes, or the ice cubes made from the purest water you can possibly get. Now that is our base. This is going to be a light elixir, kind of like a uncarbonated soda. Our first ingredient for herbal ecstasy is my prepared Hoshu Wu extract. Now, our Longevity Power Hoshu Wu is very special. It's extremely concentrated, a 16 to 1. That means that this half pound of powder right here, it took 8 pounds of Hoshu Wu roots to concentrate into this. So we're going to start with just a teaspoon because it's so concentrated. And this stuff tastes kind of like a uh, roasted peanut butter extract. So it actually lends itself to um, chocolatey caramel flavors really well. And this final elixir will definitely have a caramel butterscotch kind of a flavor. Next we're going for Levity, the red asparagus root extract powder. Now this is similarly ecstasy producing as Ho Shu Wu. These are both top Chinese tonic herbs. From the Taoist tonic herbalism, the idea was don't take herbs when you get sick, take preventative tonic herbs so that you never get sick, so that you have health beyond danger. Now, Ho Shu Wu is yin jing as is levity. That means it nourishes your adrenals, your kidneys. It gives you longevity in not a stimulating way, not like a yang power, I'm going to go work out really hard kind of a way although it does help you eventually have that with cumulative benefits, this just makes you feel so grounded and clear and it makes you feel not blissed out but blissed in because you want to tune into life. Now, Ho Shu Wu, very strong, it's an MAOI, and red asparagus root extract, levity, this makes you feel light, like above the mundane of, of a hustle and bustle lifestyle, like you know that everything is just perfect, even amidst stress. So we're going to go for a teaspoon of this. That was our dog sneezing, <laughs> if you heard that. Java dog, the superfood grass-eating dog over there. Now, Levity is a very concentrated herbal extract. It's not just whole ground powder. This is a 10 to 1. This stuff, man, this is like butterscotch candy. Next, we're going for mushroom immunity. We're just doing a half teaspoon of this. Mushroom immunity contains 34 mushroom concentrates in one, 24 species of medicinal mushrooms. There is a whole lot of organic reishi extract and reishi spores, as well as chaga mushroom extract. So this has a coffee-like flavor. It tastes more like coffee, exotic, espresso, dark roast than it does like miso mushroom soup. Java, you having a lot of fun down there? Good boy. He's definitely in herbal ecstasy. Now, we might give him a little bit of goji joy, but most of this stuff is not suitable for carnivores, at, at least on a daily level, maybe for therapeutic reasons here and there. Um, but goji joy is really the universal herb for like kids who don't want to do coffee flavored things. They want something sweet that tastes like pixie sticks. This is goji joy, our goji berry extract. Now whole goji berries are great, but they're, they're kind of chunky. You get the seeds when you put them in an elixir or a smoothie, and they are about 50% fructose. So if you want to do a super low glycemic version of goji berries with extra power, that's what goji joy is. We remove all the sugar and the fiber and the starch out of the goji berry, and in a 12 to 1 extract, we concentrate all the 
polysaccharides, the carotenoid zeaxanthin, which is really good for your eyes, and uh, all the amino acids. This is a complete protein. This is, and we're just doing half a teaspoon of this. And you know what, let's go for a whole teaspoon because goji berry has been shown to biopotentiate whatever you consume with it in your digestive system. Goji berry is used in most ancient tonic herbal formulas for its biopotentiating effect. And it's one of the only plants that has ever been proven to boost human growth hormone. Another great reason why it's so perfect for kids. Kids can just like eat it as candy. I mean, so can adults. That's what Bethann and I, Bethann behind the camera, that's what we do pretty much every single morning as just a fun like say elixir without the water and next we're going for uh, longevity in a bottle now we have all of these herbs in here are in longevity in a bottle but in smaller amounts so we want to hit these four herbs really hard for the bliss happiness joyful inducing effect longevity in a bottle is going to round this whole drink out by by containing its 60 herbs so all these 60 tonic herbal extracts in one that longevity in the bottle is will again biopotentiate whatever you consume with it. Now this is kind of a root beer flavored product that took me years to formulate and we're going for just a half teaspoon right here. Now you could simply blend this up and drink as is but we need some sea salt in this. We need a good quarter teaspoon of sea salt. This is a mixture of Celtic sea salt and New Zealand solar dehydrated shore sea salt. Um, rock salts like Himalayan salt are also great but if you want more minerals out of your salt, if you want a salt that's like more like alive, it's practically still wet, <laughs> um, then you want to go for the sun-dried sea salts that are grown, that are created from the ocean and pulled up on shore the way the Celtic sea salt is. And uh, if you love stevia, then you're going to love this elixir. If you don't love stevia the way I do, then use either less stevia or use something else like honey or another wholesome sweetener. But because there's no other like calories, we're not trying to balance like fat and protein in this elixir. We are just trying to sweeten it up a little bit. So just an eighth of a teaspoon of stevia extract powder will do. Now not all stevia extract powders are created equal. Some are in different uh, potencies. But I definitely recommend going to Amazon.com and just trying the Cal brand stevia. K-A-L. Uh, this stevia, in my opinion, after trying dozens upon dozens of the stevia extract powders out there, is the most mellow flavored stevia. I want to tell you one quick thing about our stevia. I always like to mention this because a lot of people are like, why is this stevia white? And I have actually an explanation. And I used to also question, I was like, man, are they bleaching this thing? And it turns out that they're not. The reason stevia and other extremely potent extracts are become not like brown or, or tan in color but all the way to white or green all the way into white is because it's so concentrated that the fraction that they pull out doesn't have chlorophyll in it and it doesn't have a lot of the other pigments or antioxidants contained in the whole stevia leaf. So I don't know what extract this is, but it's probably something around like a hundred to one. Meaning a teaspoon of this, it took a tea, uh, hundred teaspoons of dried green stevia powder, the equivalent of that, to make it. Because we're concentrating the stevia side so thoroughly. So uh, have no fear about this. I mean, I can't say this about every brand of stevia. A lot of stevia white powders will have like sugar or maltodextrin added to it. I can definitely vouch for this one that it's just stevia extract. There's no carriers or, or excipients. And we don't put carriers or excipients in any of our products. There's no fluffy stuff, you know, there's no extra stuff, it's all herb, you get what you pay for, and I wouldn't eat that stuff myself anyway, so I definitely wouldn't put it in something that you would consume. We're all about integrity and potency and genuinely changing people's lives, creating a, a huge 
shift in wellness for people. I mean, that's my mission here on Earth, is to do what I can to impart that on everyone who is interested in this. And, of course, more and more people are interested in this. So in the comments section below, just tell us, what, what do you think? What would you, would you make this? Would you... Make, maybe if you didn't have all of these ingredients at once, you could still make it with like three or four. Now this tonic elixir is so rich in saponins, which are medicinal molecules that are, have a, an adaptogenic response to your body. They help your body do better what it's trying to do amidst stress. These molecules um, cause the drink to become very fluffy and have a, a foamy head. So sometimes it takes a few seconds to let that head uh, come down, just like with a beer. Now we uh, didn't bring a glass out here. Normally we'll serve something up in glass, but you know what? This is our glass right here, our 64 ounce glass, the way we like to roll. Mm. It's so good. Man, it's like some kind of caramel butterscotch elixir with like a hint of like this roasted candy peanut butter effect. Here, Beth Ann, your time to try it. Bottoms up. Bottoms up. <laughs> oh, it's so good. It's awesome. So it's caramelly, butterscotchy, totally beyond a root beer. And I don't think you can taste the stevia very much. So in the whole thing, like it's it's perfectly sweet, but it's not overdone. It's beyond awesome. <laughs> <laughs> so over the next like 20 minutes, we are going to have our neurotransmitters completely galactivated into a heightened sense of bliss. Now, with all of these tonic herbs, they're they're by definition as tonics. There's no come down. This isn't like a stimulating drink that gives you a high and then a crash. We will feel ecstasy in a heightened way, which are, is our natural state of being, for uh, at least a couple hours, and then after that, we'll just suddenly won't notice the profoundness of that ecstasy anymore, and there, there's not going to be a crash. And the more often you take tonic herbs, as daily as you can, as, as even throughout the day as you can, so it's, these are in your body and they're constantly doing their work on you, they're adaptogens, so they're going to be working on you in the ways that you most need to be worked on. Then over time, over weeks, months, then you will naturally feel so good that when you, for example, take a break from some of these herbs, it will still feel somewhat like you're on them. You will still have that power that you feel immediately after taking them, but it's going to go long term. That's the real wisdom of tonic herbs, is that accumulative effect over a lifetime, a long long lifetime and subscribe to our email list because we will be producing awesome newsletters that are very informative our newsletters have a pop quiz with each one so you get to find out fun facts about herbs and superfoods and then be sure to share this because it is time I mean 2013 we're all getting so into not like the old school like dogmatic nutrition where like you have to follow something and if you don't you're judged. We are all about adding things in that we try for the first time and then we stick with what works for us and then we add more things in and it's fun it's not a willpower way of nutrition and over time say just over six months of adding things in regularly you are already like mastering your full spectrum of your diet you're becoming your own expert on your own doctorate of nutrition for your body <laughs>